Hello, welcome to the Mark Janard Show, the cybersecurity show. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create the invisible HF antenna so that you can be stealthy. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. So to create an invisible HF antenna, consider the following stealth techniques. You're going to want to use a thin wire, opt for small gauge magnet wire or thin insulated wire, which is less visible than thicker alternatives. To paint the wire, right? Match the wire color to your house or surroundings by painting it with exterior house paint. Conceal along existing structures, run the wire along eaves, fences, or roof lines to blend with architectural features. Utilize natural camouflage. Integrate the antenna among trees, shrubs, or other vegetation in your garden. Indoor feed point, right? Place the ballon or feed point inside the attic or house to minimize visible components. Hit that subscribe button and the like button right now. Hit that subscribe button and the like button right now if you are feeling happy. So multi-band designs, consider an NFED halfway antenna with a 49 to one ratio UNON for operation on multiple bands. Roof insulation for asphalt shingle roofs, use black clips inserted under shingles to secure the wire along the roof. Perimeter loop, Create a loop antenna around the roof's perimeter for multi-band operation. Vertical options, install a vertical wire along you know, the side of a multi-story house, forming an inverted L antenna. Window line feed, use window line like a ladder line to feed a dipole or a loop antenna connecting to a tuner with a balanced line input. Now, there are some really good materials that you can use you know for a stealth antenna right and you can use a copper clad steel wire this material combines the conductivity of copper with the strength of steel making it suitable for long lasting stealth antennas there's aluminum tubing while not as invisible as thin wire aluminum is lightweight corrosion resistant and relatively inexpensive making it a good choice for larger stealth antenna elements pvc for antenna supports and insulators, PVC is an excellent non-conductive material that can be easily painted to match surroundings. You have nylon rope used for securing antennas, like, like, like antenna elements, right? Nylon rope is strong and, and weather resistant. Paint, again, paint, you know, you paint your exterior house matching the color of your surroundings, which can be applied to antenna elements and supports you know to increase stealth now how can you ensure that there are ways that you can ensure stealth antenna performs well on multiple bands if you have that option right you can use nfed half wave antenna design this type of antenna can work effectively on multiple bands due to its ability to operate on harmonics again incorporate that 49 to 1 ratio unon this component matches the high impedance of the antenna to the 15 you know the 50 sorry ohm output of your transceiver improving efficiency across multiple bands you can add wire lengths you know for different bands extend your antenna by including additional wire lengths corresponding to other desired bands for example you can add a 7.5 m wire you can utilize ins insulators separate wire lengths with insulators to allow switching between bands by shorting or opening the circuit at specific points you can maximize wire length Longer wires generally provide better radiation efficiency, so use the maximum length possible. Now, you know, while con maintaining stealth. So you're gonna also wanna consider parallel fed dipoles. A multi-band system using parallel fed dipoles with zigzag loading can cover multiple popular HF bands without requiring tuning. Implement loading coils for loader for lower bands, use loading loading coils to make the antenna appear electrically longer you know though this may result in some performance loss and reduced bandwidth keep that in mind employ both vertical and horizontal elements right combining vertical and horizontal wire sections can provide a mix of polarizations improving overall performance across bands aim for broad banded design right a well-designed stealth antenna should achieve NSWR of less than two to one across multiple HF bands without needing a tuner. 
Now, uh, how can you adjust the length of your stealth antenna for optimal performance? Well, you can start with the calculated length. Use standard formulas to determine the initial wire length for your desired frequency to install the antenna, right? Mount it in its intended location as the surroundings can affect tuning. Measure the SWR, check the standing wave ratio, also known as SWR, at the center and edges of your target band. Fine tune the length. If SWR is better at the lower band edge, the antenna is too long. If, F, if SWR is better at the upper band edge, the antenna is too short. So make adjustments, right? To shorten, fold back the ends and secure with nylon uh, cable clips. To lengthen, add small increments of wire. Aim for an SWR of 1 to 1 1.5 to 1, right, or better at the band center. For multi-band operation, add wire lengths for additional bands like the 7.5M for 15M band or 2.5M for the 40 band. Use insulators to separate wire sections for band switching. Now, consider environmental factors, right? PVC wire covering and capacitive and effects may make the antenna appear electrically longer. Nearby objects like electrical wiring or water tanks can affect tuning. In regards to lower bands, implement loading coils to make the antenna appear electrically longer. Use a zigzag configuration if space is limited. Maximize wire length within stealth constraints for better radiation efficiency. So a radio that's built for stealth is the GDAT-10G, and it's a handheld ham radio. Uh, the radio DT G GDAT-10G handheld ham radio offers several features, right? That make it suitable for stealth operation. It has the compact design. Its small size allows for discrete carrying and operation. It has selectable uh, power output with options of 10W, 5W, and 2.5W slash 1W operators uh, that can choose lower power settings for more covert communications when needed. There's dual mode operation, right? The ability to switch between analog and digital DMR tier one and two modes that provides flexibility in different communication scenarios. The next radio we have is the Biofang Radio AR-152 ham radio, right? And it's obviously it's not really built for stealth. However, it has several features that could be advantageous in tactical or discrete communication scenarios. Like its high power output, the AR-152 offers up to 15W of power, allowing for long range communication. This means users can transmit over greater distances. It also has a, an extended battery life with a 12,000 mAh battery capacity. The radio can operate for five to seven days on a single charge. It's versatile frequency range that you know covers v VHF and UHF bands, allowing for communication across various frequencies. And lastly, another ham radio built for stealth is the Zygu G90. Okay, so you're gonna want to look into that. So hit that subscribe button, hit the like button right now. I appreciate your viewership. Stay safe, and see you on the next video. Thank <laughs> you.